Time and time again, when I watch my randoms play, I notice so many of them do not know how to properly strafe. Strafing is important because it not only makes it harder for you to get hit, but it also has a big impact on your aim, especially since we now know what recoil smoothing is and how it works. Having a proper strafe can be the difference between winning and losing your fights, how often you need to armor swap, or how much white health damage you take. So let's talk about what it is and how to do it and how to practice it. If you enjoyed today's video or finding the information helpful, consider leaving a like. I also stream nearly every day on Twitch so you can find me live there but let's go ahead and hop in right into the video firstly we should identify the types of strafing mirror strafing anti-mirror strafing half sideways mirroring and half sideways anti-mirroring here's a visual representation of each strafe you can see for mirror strafing you and your target are both visually going the same direction if the target is going to your left you will strafe also to your left as you can assume for anti-mirror strafing the exact opposite happens when the target is going to your left you in turn will then strafe to your right so for half sideways mirroring you're going if your target is going to the left you're also going to go forward and to the left and for half sideways anti-mirror strafing you're do the exact exact opposite. It is important to know this because it makes you more cognizant of what you're doing instead of mindlessly performing the motion. It's also important because of how recoil smoothing works. For a brief reminder, recoil smoothing is a mechanic that allows you to have virtually no recoil while moving your crosshair. This is why the gun doesn't kick upwards while you're hit firing up close or while strafing. If you add this principle to your newly gained knowledge on strafing, you can now understand how this can help you win more fights. Now, I'm sure you're wondering when you should use each strafe. But ideally, it's better to use all forms of strafe strafing in each fight. And depending on the encounter, you will. The safest bet is generally going to be anti-mirror strafing. This is because the ability to track targets through directional changes is pretty hard and it just comes down to who can do that better. So if you're in a fair fight, it's going to be best to utilize anti-mirror strafing or half sideways anti-mirroring. This is only something that you should do for starters because you do want to get comfortable with being able to switch between different types of strafes during the same exact gunfight. This is important because if your opponent insists on going in one direction the entire time, let's say they continue to only strafe to your left, it is advised that you use both anti-mirror and mirror strafing because it just comes down to who shot first in that case. And changing directions during the gunfight is certainly going to throw their aim off just enough for you to win. Using mirror strafing is going to be good when you have the health advantage. It's also useful when you know the enemy isn't going to be shooting back because they're either trying to reposition or you caught them out in the open. Mirroring is incredibly easy to use and if they're out in the open, they're not going to have anywhere to hide. So I always take advantage of how powerful mirroring can be because it's incredibly easy to execute. This is because all you have to do is have your crosser on the target and your strafe is going to do all the aiming for you. Now let's go over how to practice these strafes. There's plenty of methods to do this, but if you're on console, like I assume most of you are, there's only a few methods that you have. Firstly, since 1v1s are now fixed, I would suggest finding some friends to practice 1v1s with. If you don't have anyone to play against, I do have a public discord you can find down in the description where you can play with anyone and against anyone at any time. But if even then you still can't manage to find anyone, you can always practice your strafe just by going to the firing range and shooting the dummies. The method you can use is going to be called the pull dodge, which is something us PC players use. When you're strafing a target that's stationary, you're going to focus on keeping your crosshair on it. This will help you train your anti-mirror strafing. You can also use the moving targets in the background to train your mirror strafing just to get comfortable with hitting targets that are going the same direction as you. Now, if you're on PC, there's plenty of ways to practice this. If you have Kovacs, I will leave a playlist in the description below that is designed by Aimer7, one of the best aim training coaches you can find. This playlist is designed specifically to help improve your strafing game. And I can say after doing this myself, I have noticed a big difference in not only my strafe, but my mouse control over directional changes. If you don't have Kovacs, you can also utilize Aim Labs, which is another aim trainer. You go to the top of the screen and you'll see a tab that says training, click that. And then on the left hand side, you'll see a section labeled Apex. In this section, you'll see tons of scenarios and playlists that you can choose from to help improve your aim. Some of them involve strafing and some of them don't. As you can see this one right here, the Apex Staircase 1v1 does have a strafing scenario, whereas this Octane Track one right here does not. Either way, all these scenarios would be good for improving your aim. If there was one playlist that I would suggest, it would be this Hollow x Apex Legends Essentials playlist. This was put together by both Hollow and Voltaic Cine, who are excellent aimers. 
Lastly, one of the best ways that is also free to practice your state will be to download the R5 Reloaded mod. After you do that, you're going to want to get the Flow State Aim Trainer. I did a whole video on what R5 is and how to install it, which I'll have on the screen right now. Essentially, this Aim Trainer will give you real in-game strafe speeds, ADS sensitivities, real weapons that you already use in Apex, which is, it means it's going to have real recoil control as well. You can also test out different optics and different attachments. It's in my opinion why I feel my aim has improved so much recently and it hasn't even been out for that long, but I can feel the reps that I'm getting in through this aim trainer are really making a difference. Overall, understand how strafing and aiming go hand in hand is imperative for improvement. Just understanding something like this will certainly improve your overall ability to win more gunfights. Again, if you found any of this information helpful, please consider leaving a like on this video as it helps the algorithm push this video out to more people. And if you want to see more Apex content like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.